Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sir Gabs again. In this video, we will be talking about the Intermediate Value Theorem. So, Intermediate Value Theorem states that if the function f is continuous on the closed interval a, b, and f of a is different from f of b, then for every y sum 3 that lies between f of a and f of b, there, it, there is at least one C that lies between A and B such that F of C is equal to Y sub 3. So actually, na mas maayon na siyang sub tun ko natin illustration. So, morigid ni yung pasabot, no? Um, assuming this is the uh, this is the X and Y axis, and then let's say um, this is our function, Okay, then let's have A here, and this is B. Unia, pagkahuman, mo niyang yun, no? Assuming the function is continuous on the interval, so meaning wala siya ng putol, no? notice ang continuous yan. And F of A is different from F of B. So, bot pa sa bot, ang Y values are different when you substitute A and B. So, okay, bali, yun, ano niyang situation, guys, no? And substitute nyo sa A, guys, no? Using the function. Anyway, this is the function F. Mga niya itong F na function. And then, ingon siya, if ang A doon na ito has a corresponding F of A such that different siya sa F of B. Okay? So, mga niya yung pasabot. So, mga niya yung ingon rin, no? Mga f of a is different from f of b. So, kibali, si f of b o si f of b, lahi-lahi, yun sila nga numbers, no? Dili sila pwede pareho. O niya, then for every y sub 3, okay? For every daw y sub 3, that lies between f of a and f of b. So, kung naa daw tay y sub 3, kung naa daw tay y sub 3, that lies between f of a and f of b. So, kibali, naadaw na tayo usa kabuok value sa y niya. Or actually, any, no? Ito, any value. Muna ito, ito ko siya y sub 3. So, for example, kanina ito ang y sub 3. No? Muna si y sub 3. Nga, naa siya ito nga, ito nga, in between man, sa bisag asa ng posisyon, pabor sa f of b or pabor sa f of a, it doesn't matter. There is at least one c now, no? Naada usa ka C that lies between A and B. So naada usa ka C nga na nga kana uh, na in between A and B such that f of C is equal to y cube. So in other words, in anira yang pasabot. So may tumatawag na kaya lang yun na. Naada na siya corresponding value of C such that it is between A and B. O, kana. O, naa daw na yung C. Kibali, yan ang pasabot, no? Kung sa ito pang sabitong tarong. Naa daw Y sub 3, nga ito nga, ito nga sa F of B, F of A and F of B, nga ang C niya, ang paris ng x-coordinate, is naa daw, ito nga, ito nga sa A and B. Okay? Okay? So, kung ito nga ito nga si y sub 3 sa duha, kinahanglan, or it is ka na ang, ang side term na, it is already understood na ang C and ano niya, ang paris niya ng x-coordinate, naasad sa ito nga ito nga sa A and B. Okay? So, ka na, unya, we assume now that y sub 3, therefore, is our f of C. Okay, di ba? Such that f of c is equal to y sub 3. So, di ba, if you have a here, when you use the function, substitute a to the function, ang output na na is mahimong f of a. So, yung nga siya, is si y sub 3, tunga-tunga sa kaninduha, there is at least one c, na yung usak a c, tunga-tunga sa a and b. Okay? Such that f of c daw si y sub 3. Meaning, kung mao na yung c, mao na si f of c. Okay, so muna si y sub 3 na yung pasabot niya. 
Okay, huwag sabihin na sa'yo pa again ha Kung tumatunga si y sub 3 sa duha Then ang c, ang iyang x coordinate Tumatunga sa a yung b Okay, so more, more na iyan ang short na, no? short na explanation Then, let's have an example here Show, using IVT That the zero of f of x equals 2x minus 3 Is in the closed interval negative 1 and 5 Okay? So first to consider guys, the first thing mong tanawon is the function itself. Is the function continuous to the interval? Okay? Is the function continuous to the interval? Obviously it's yes. Why? Because this function is a polynomial function. Remember, no, ako na may know that, all polynomial functions are continuous everywhere. Everywhere na, so Bisag unsang of value In other words, bisag unsa sa Na interval So, paro kayo, ang kanina function Is continuous at this close interval Because polynomial functions Are always continuous Everywhere So, okay, mong na, mong na yung first nga ano, First nga requirement, kinahang lang si f Continuous, good yeah. Karun, next na tong buhaton Is to check f of a and f of b Tanawa na to kung different ba sila Nga so, si f of a, for example, mo na itong a, mo na itong b. So, i-check sa nimo, yung mo sa isolve si f of negative 1. So, in this case, we say f of negative 1 is equal to 2 times negative 1 minus 3. So, basically, mo na i-substitute si negative 1 there is a function. Now, from there, you will come up with 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. Okay? Niya, yeah. Ah, mara si f of negative 1 ha Si f of positive 5 Si f of 5 Is equal to uh, Substitute lang yapon 2 times 5 Minus 3 So that should be 10 minus 3 is 7 Okay So those are the two values Nang ingon siya Show using IVT That the zero of the function Okay So when when do we say uh, Zero of the function So ano ito pagkuha ang Ang kanaang Zero of the function so actually, kung nyo tag zero of the function, it means it is the solution of the function. Kibale, kana ang um, it will make the function zero. Okay? So kung saan, kanus aman niya na zero, ma zero na siya if this becomes zero. So si f of x is equal to zero. Kibale guys, mo ni may tabo, no? Ang may tabo, ang ato ading buhaton ani is, we will consider, consider f of x equals zero. Consider then f of x is equal to 0. So, mo na si f of, f of c or si y cube. Okay? So, mo na yung atong gitanaw. Si f of x is equal to 0. Again, nga nung, nga nung f of x equal 0 man. Because we are looking for the 0 of the function. Okay? So, the 0 of the function will happen if f of x is equal to 0 lang. Question, ha? Can is f of x... Is f of x in between f of a and f of b? Kaya mo naman ni guys, no? kung yung mong i-relate, mao ni siya, si f of a. Mao ni siya, si f of b. Kani siya, mao ni si f of c. Okay? Unya, ang yung mong rin tanawon is, si f of c, gipatungan ba sa duha? Again, si f of c, gipat, gipatungan ba siya sa duha? Notice, kung zero na siya, then meaning, na siya tunga-tunga sa negative 5 and positive 7. Okay, again, si zero is na ande siya in between negative 5 and positive 7. Ah, okay. So, si f of c, si f of c, is na asa sa tunga, tunga And according to IVT, if na andaw siya sa tunga, tunga ang iyahang x-coordinate, na asa sa tunga, tunga sa A and B. Question, what is our A and what is our B? Di ba atong A o B is negative 1 and positive 5? So, kung si A o B, negative 1 o positive 5, and 0, which is our F of C, na, is tunga, tunga sa F of A and F of B, 
then obviously, ang iyang zero is naasa sa tunga-tunga sa negative 1 and 5. Okay, so actually, ang ano mong ganda, ang ato ang mong gong zero, ang ato ang zero is ang value sa x. Okay, bali, again ha, this represents the, ano, di ka ng zero of the function. So, I mean, this is how we get the zero of the function. We assume f of x is equal to zero. Now, we are looking for the zero of the function, which is x, ano, kasi nalipat din na itong story, ano, Ang, ang consider na ito, f is equal to zero, we let the function equal to zero, but we are actually trying to consider x as the zero of the function. The value of x is the zero of the function. Remember guys, ha? x is the zero of the function. Ang value, the zero of f. Okay? So, muna ito ang itanaw, ang x value niya. So, kibali, muna si x, muna si f of x. Okay? Muna si zero na f of x. Muna itong i-consider. Now, in this case, notice na si f of x again, si f of x, ipatungan sa dua. So, si f of x kani, ipatungan sa dua. Ang, kung mo si f of x, then mo si x, di ba? Mabitan ng f of c, o c siya niya. So, kung f of x ni, mo ni ang x. Ipatungan mag ha si f of x. So, si, si, si x na yun na ito, ipatungan sa dua. Balik na? Si f of x, ipatungan sa dua. According to IVT, kaya ipatungan mo siya sa dua, then, ang x di ay po na ito, ipatungan po sa A o B. Ang muna si IVT na ito. So, since, may ngayon na since, no? since, um, since zero is in between, in between negative five, and 7 then by IVT by intermediate value theorem the zero of the function is in the closed interval negative 1 and 5. Okay? So, that's how it goes. No? Murag nana na ang idea na ito. Since f of c is in between f of a and f of b, then, by intermediate value theorem, the zero of the function x, no, si x, is in between a and b. Okay? Kulang ang end na nun. Then, mandani. <laughs> okay. So, inaana ay uh, one of the applications. No? We are trying to get, um, we are trying to show that the zero of the function is in between the given interval. Okay. So, again, uh, first, talawin mo kung continuous ba siya at the interval. And then, you, you, ano, you get the two values. Na tanawa ang zero kung naaba siya in between. If it happens na naas siya in between, then automatic, not really zero, I mean the f of x. So, ang f of x nato is always zero. Na. So, if it's in between, then ang may tabo is the zero of the function or the value of x is also in between the given interval, negative 1 and 5. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you. See you in the next video. So anyway.